What's good, everybody? It's your boy, Crypto Newbie, and I am back. All right, so today we are going to be talking about the top three projects of Collect.me for this month of, we're beginning the month of April. So I'm going to let you guys know the top three projects that I recommend to everyone to look into on Collect.me. So stay tuned. You don't want to miss it. All right, so if you are new to the channel, I appreciate you for stopping through, but I would appreciate it if you can smash that subscribe button for me and please hit the like button as well. And do not forget to share the video to as many people as possible because your love is definitely appreciated. All right, so first thing is first. So we are about to get into the projects that I feel are pretty much, you know, consistently doing their thing on collect.me. Uh, these are projects that you will be able to purchase um, purchase an NFT and actually be able to resell it. So if you are interested in making money with NFTs, this is the place to be. So first, uh, the first collection I wanna show you guys is, let me see, it is called Lucky Koi. It is called Lucky Koi. Let me see here. So Lucky Koi is basically, uh, Chinese culture believe the Koi brings fame, family, harmony, and wealth. While Japanese culture sub symbolizes culture, perseverance, bravery, and love simultaneously. This project hopes to bring the same value to all Koi owners. All right, so let's look at a few of the Koi NFTs that he's produced so far. Um, these are very, very, very unique uh, NFTs. Um, I'm not uh, very caught up on the Koi, on Lucky Koi. I know that it's a new thing and I'm definitely trying to learn as much as I can about it. But like, again, these are some very, very unique pieces and I, I'm looking forward to seeing exactly what more is, he's gonna actually keep bringing to the table. Uh, let me see, like this one literally has lasers coming out of his eye. That was, that was kind of hard, I didn't know it did that. That is super cool. Um, this one is a swimming fish bone. Like it's super cool, man. So I really like the Lucky Koi project and definitely uh, interested in seeing where it will go in you know the coming months or you know year or whatnot. So that's that's pretty much that. So let's look at um, the Lucky Koi creators uh, Twitter page really quick. Check him out. Uh, so Lucky Koi live to A A C K B. All right, so let's see. So this is his page right here in particular. It looks like he's basically working on a new um, NFT for Lucky Koi as well. That's kind of cool. Uh, just, you know, quick scroll through, uh, you know, different artist page from Collect, Collect Me just so you guys can get an idea of what type of, what type of creators they are. Uh, okay, so that is Mr. Lucky Koi, which again, I really like that project and I do recommend you guys to check out the project and invest. It won't hurt. It won't hurt at all. All right, so project number two. Let's see. We're going to go to Void Academy. So I've been really, really looking at Void Academy a lot. I haven't had the opportunity to purchase uh, one of his NFTs and make it a part of my collection just yet, but I will. You know, I'm definitely... Definitely looking for my opportunity to see which spot I'm going to jump in. Somebody bought this one right here and got it at 78 million CKB, which is $872,000, which is a good price. <laughs> so we're going to keep rolling, man. But he, uh, the Void Academy NFTs are very, very unique as well. Very creative. Um, they have like a, a monster thing to them. Uh, so they are very, very cool. Uh, my daughter, she sees them all the time and she is always like, Daddy, I want that one. So I'm going to buy one and I'm going to let her pick it and I'm going to let you guys know which one I choose. So, But so far, I really like the, I really like the Void Academy project as well. He has uh, decent prices for his items. And again, they are very unique and very creative. Uh, let's see here. Let's go check out his uh, Twitter page as well just so you guys can get a, a understanding of the creators. Again, uh, here's his handle right here and you know these are some of the tweets and things he retweeted oh that's gonna be a cool one Merry Christmas there. that's gonna be a cool one I, I, somebody might even own this one already it looks like December 24, 20. somebody might own that one or he just never created it I, I've never seen that one though so uh, these are just you know posts from the creator and the retweets from the creator, just so you guys can get an understanding. Definitely reach out to him, let him know what you think of his project. You know, again, his handle is at BitMixNFT. So hit him up and let him know what you think of his project as well. All right, so before we move on to the very, very last one, 
please, again, guys, hit that subscribe button and please smash that like button. Comment down below just to let me know what you think of the video, uh, what you think of the NFTs, and if you actually are interested in NFTs. So please drop those comments below as well. All right, so my number one project right now that I'm really interested in, and I haven't had the opportunity to, to purchase me one of these either, but this is my number one project right now that I am trying to add to my portfolio. And it is called Boxy Box. Um, this, the creator, his name is B the G. I'll show you guys his Twitter page shortly. Uh, but his boxy boxes, which are like, they're, they're toy boxes of uh, like our childhood uh, cartoon figures and just, you know, animated shows and shoes, as you guys can see. Like, it's super, super, super cool. Like, it's very now unique. This is unique, it's for sure. So if you can, as you can see, you can see Hellboy right here, priced at ten thousand. And real quick before I actually go into the prices, you can see that most of these don't even have a price because they are already sold. Because these things sell out like hotcakes, like literally. Um, so you got the Hellboy one. You got uh, literally you have a, a Air Force One. Air Force, I'm from St. Louis, if you don't know. So if y'all ever heard Nelly Air Force One, I, that should have been mine. <laughs> All right, you got SpongeBob, you got Clark Kent, you got Buzz Lightyear, you got Raphael, you got SpongeBob's home, you have SpongeBob, you have the actual Superman. You have so many unique ideas with this particular um, project right here that I, I was truly very, very impressed by what he brought to the table with this. So. Again, man, shout out to Be The G for creating the boxy boxes, and I'm definitely going to get me one very soon. All right, so let's go check out his uh, Twitter page really quick, just so, you know, again, so you guys can get to know the creators and see exactly what type of creators they are. So uh, let's look at a few of his posts. As you can see, he retweets and uh, keeps the community going just like everybody else. That's one thing I really, really, really love about Collect.me and the entire CKB community. We are definitely in tune with each other. Um, and I've been hearing a lot of crazy things lately about people not being in tune, and I do see it. So guys, get it together. We will get to where we're going. We will get to where we're going. All right, anyway, so again, his boxy boxes are really cool. Oh, I forgot to show you guys this one. I gotta go back because this was the Mario. I wanted this one so bad, man, so bad. But it's all good because uh, I have been working on something very, very special for me. So I'm looking forward to getting it as well. So when it when I do get them from him, I will definitely let you guys know. But uh, yeah, so this is Be The G's page, man. He's a very good guy. Uh, reach out to him as well. Let him know what you think about his project. Please check out his project on collect.me as well. Again, they're called Boxy Boxes, and they are very, very cool. So again, I am going to link every collection that I've recommended today in the descriptions. So please, all you got to do is go check them out. You don't have to buy anything. We just enjoy you coming to check us out, writing a comment, letting us know that you enjoy it. So please, please, please support all the creators and all the influencers for you know doing the crypto, doing the NFTs because it's it's it's, it's a hard job. We get ridiculed, ridiculed. But anyway, I appreciate you guys. It's your boy, the Crypto Newbie, and I am out. Bow.